to anger. Here we see instance yeah. of road rage, yeah. people losing their tempers at yeah. the drop of a hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today, people say that we have conquered the nature. They have not conquered themselves. How can they conquer nature? Self-control is the real mark of a human being. That which differentiates a human being from an animal is self-control. The animal cannot control himself, but man can. Man now has descended to the level of an animal. He cannot control himself. Is it because we are always looking outward? Yes. We don't have the time yes. to be with ourselves? Yes. yes, yes. Or is it people are afraid to be with themselves? Yes. They are afraid to be. Yes. Centuries ago, Socrates said, Know thyself. But there are the people who know themselves. I think 99. Point nine recurring percent people, they identify themselves with their bodies. But they are not the bodies that they are there. The education that was passed on in ancient India was this, that you must first recognize yourself. What are you? You are not the body, you are not the mind, you are not the intellect. You are that. And once you realize that you are that, you live in a different type of dignity. Yes. Are there any plans of opening a Mira Educational School or College in Goa? <laughs> I have been asking my brother, Mr. Raju Bharat, to open a school here. That would be a great gift to us. It will be kind of you to get him a suitable plot, plot of land on which you could construct. Dadaji, from your visits to Goa, what is it that attracts you most and where we can build up upon? Uh, not necessarily uh, from Goa, but wherever I go, I believe that every country, every province needs a new type of education. I believe that life can change and will change through the right type of education. My hope is not in politics, no. And not only in India, but that is so wherever I go, I find that the nations need today a new type of education. An education that will teach the students that life is larger than livelihood. That the end of knowledge is not gains in silver or gold but service and sacrifice. Altruistic living, living for others, this is what we have missed. People who live in the cities, they don't think of the poor who live in the villages. Dada, we often hear that India lives in its villages. India lives in the village. There are thousands of villages in India. But now the villagers are migrating to the cities. And the environment in the cities is changing on that account. Uh, yes. Dada, in Goa we have a lot of temples, we have a lot of churches, yes, yes. but yet there is a spiritual thirst. We have temples, we have churches, but we 
have forgotten that the real temple is the temple of the heart. The real church is the church of the heart. It is the heart that must be kept pure. Our hearts are not pure. But doesn't the pressure of modern day life to a large extent also affect the thinking of people towards leading an impure life? Our thinking has been affected because I know when I was a school boy, we used to think more of the neighbor than of ourselves, but not so now. Now it has become fiercely yes. competitive. Yes. Each one striving yes. to climb above the others. Yes. yes. There is absolutely no chance of peace in such an atmosphere. Yes. There are two things that are necessary for a society, for a country, for a nation to grow. And the first is reverence. Reverence for the elder, reverence for the teacher. Both of them are missing now. And the second is service. Service of those that somehow or the other are beneath you. That is also missing. So does the Mira education system address these issues and uh, helps to bring in, about a in, change? In some little way, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, I go to different countries of the world and the Sindhis, enterprising as they are, I meet them almost in every country that I visit. And some of them tell me that the training, the education that they received in the Mira schools, in those days they didn't realize uh, that it meant so much. But they tell me that we now feel so grateful that we studied in the Mira school. <laughs> uh, yes. I think that must be the best uh, certificate. Uh, yes. <laughs> Dadaji, we hear some funny stories about terrorists who have come to Goa only to relax. They say the moment we step into Goa, we f forget the thoughts of terrorism activities and we just relax over here. I see. What is it about this soil that promotes this feeling? I see. There is a relaxation that is not different from laziness. The Gita speaks of tamas. Yes. The three gunas, tamo, rajo and sato. Uh, relaxation should not be tamasic. Relaxation should also be sattvic. Yes. We have heard today the words from Reverend Dadaji, eminent educationalist, social scientist, and our beloved. Thank you very much, Dadaji, for being with us, and we hope to welcome you again very soon. <laughs> Thank you. It's so kind of you to have given me this golden opportunity of contacting your viewers. I feel grateful to you. Thank you. Thank you.